Okay, welcome to your third CSS3 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be continuing under the CSS3 text module where we will be looking at two additional properties that being text stroke and text fill color. Okay, now you need to bear in mind at present these two properties only work under a under a WebKit um, browser that being either Chrome or Safari. However, this is going to change in the near future, so we're going to we're going to go over these two properties uh, anyways. So what is um, stroke? Stroke is basically an outline given to to text on a web page. Um, just like in a Photoshop document, you can give an outline to to text. You so too can you do that. So too can you give an outline to um, text on a a web page. So to illustrate this, let's go ahead and let's create uh, an H1 element on the page, and let's give this element, um, so let's give this element a style. So we're gonna say H1. Uh, we're gonna give it a font size. Let's say 200 pixels. Okay, let's preview this in the browser. Okay, and now let's give. First of all, let's um, look at the, the the stroke property. Now, like I said, it's it only works on the WebKit, so we need to give this a WebKit extension as well. So we're going to say WebKit um, text stroke, and it takes two values. Um, the first is the how thick you want the stroke to be. So let's say um, let's say we want it to be seven pixels, a very thick stroke. And um, the the second value is the the color. Let's say blue. Control S to save. Now look at what what happens. As you can see here, we give we are given an we we are, we are given an outline of the the text on the page. Okay. Now the other property we need to look at is the text um, the text fill color. So we're gonna say give it an extension of WebKit as well. And we're gonna say text fill uh, color. Okay, and it takes uh, one property with a color, and we could give it a color of white. Control S to save, and as you can see here, that it's filled in the, the the text with a color of white. So this is a very interesting um um property, text property that we can we can do a lot of interesting things with text with. But like I said, it only works on presently. It only works on a WebKit engine. Um, so let's copy this onto Safari to illustrate this. It only works on the Chrome and Safari, okay, and it does not work on the um, Firefox. Let's pull up Firefox to see this. Firefox or Internet Explorer it does not work currently under these two browsers, okay. However, like I said, this is going to change in the near future, so um, bear that in mind. So this is your third um, CSS3 tutorial, okay. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and ensure that you, you subscribe, and I'll see you in further tutorials. Thank you.